go, your soul is not safe. Earthrealm's fate is sealed, Nightwolf. Not yet. We fight until the end. Hey there, guys, and welcome back to Mortal Kombat. It is time for Chapter 15, Nightwolf. We finally get to play as this Native American shaman guy after we've been seeing him for ages. So, yeah. In my opinion, Nightwolf is not that great. I don't know why, I just don't like the way he plays. And yeah, he can create all these green weapons out of nowhere, like the freaking Green Lantern. Maybe he's got like a power ring hidden somewhere. He can create a green bow and arrow, a green tomahawk, green daggers. He has a variable arsenal of green weaponry hidden away somewhere. And yeah, first opponent is Quan Chi. Because we can't let him create a giant soul tornado that's going to kill all life in Earthrealm. So we have to stop him, logically. Although I still don't see how that puts an end to the freaking soul tornado. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ah, no, not that move. I hate that move. Ow, ow. And then he promptly kicks your ass every time he does that freaking trance. Ow. No, 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 no. Please tell me I can live this. Uh, no way in hell I can live this. And snap. Well, that sucks. First round with frickin' Nightwolf and I immediately lose it. Oh uh, well, could be worse. Oh, nice. Nice green glowing arrow through the chest. Yeah, how is that not fatal? Maybe Quan Chi is just extremely durable. I mean, he is supposed to be this sorcerer guy who lives in hell and apparently controls it. So maybe he's an undead, I don't know. He doesn't look absolutely healthy, I mean he's pale as hell. He might be even paler than Kratos. Oh, ah crap. Missed my uppercut. And yeah, he has this gl green glowing shoulder charge which kinda reminds me of Jade's green glowing dash kick which pretty much acted the exact same way. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of... Oh, nice. Killed him. No, I didn't. Just knocked him out. Well, that also works. Okay, final round. Better go for the victory here. Oh, nice. Mid-air punch. I like that move. It kind of changed nicely into an uppercut if you manage to freaking land it. And he also has this summon lightning from the sky move, which is unblockable. But it targets where the opponent is standing when you execute it, so... It's quite easy to dodge it, because it doesn't really have that big of an area of effect. To be quite honest. That's a little tomahawk move. Ow. There we go. So satisfying. Aw oh, crap, not this again. Well, I still have my x-ray in the wings, so if I live this... Which I hope I do. Yes, I do. Now it's payback time, freaking Quan Chi. How you like this? Two glowing axes to the shoulders. And a nice little kick to the spine. Face plant. And epic win. Your time is over. But how do we know? Raiden could be having visions of possible futures, not THE future. Sonya's right. 
Was I supposed to have my arms replaced with these, or was it caused by interfering with the timeline? My head hurts just thinking about it. This isn't helpful. We cannot second-guess our decisions. Raiden, what are your thoughts? Raiden? Yes, that is best. What is our next objective? Night Wolf! It is done. Earthrealm souls are safe. No! Oh, is it not enough? I must speak with the Elder Gods. Shao Kahn's violation must be punished. But the battle is joined here, in Earthrealm. We cannot win without the Elder Gods. But, Master... Liu Kang, close as a shadow. Nightwolf, you will lead until we return. As you wish, Heoka. Well, now what? Standing around here won't do us any good. Wait! The Lin Kuei, they surround us. So much for standing around. Attack! My speed and skill are beyond me. Hmm, I guess there might like be a little tracking device on Cyber Sub Zero which allowed them to track our location because you know Cyber Sub Zero is here. And yeah. Cyber Sub Zero has been nothing but trouble. Reprogramming him, well, he did do good against, uh, like, freeing all those soldiers and stuff. So I guess he can be forgiven. But, yeah. Cyrax again. I think we fought him in the story mode quite a lot as well. Not as much as, like, Shiva or Ermac. But still. At least Cyrax is a pretty easy opponent, because he doesn't really tend to spam his best move, which is that glowing green energy net. Which is totally awesome. Aw oh, man, he also has jetpacks in his hands. Why do all those Lin Kuei ninja robots have that? I want jetpacks in my hands. Or like flamethrowers or something. Hell, I want my hands to be able to do anything that's super powered and awesome. Other than play video games with an amazing level of skill, I must say myself. Eh, that's probably not true uh, anyway. Oh, arrow to the chest. Although he's a robot, he can probably survive it. Eh. And he can turn his hand into a buzzsaw. Now that's awesome. Oh, nice. Wait, wait. That thunderbolt, shouldn't that like fry all his freaking circuits? It's a thunderbolt from the spirits. It must be like super freaking powerful. So, yeah, what's that all about? Come on, there we go. Axe uppercut for the win. Mere speed and skill will not win this war, Cyrax. You are white, Now, do you understand the power of the Grandmaster's vision? You are no match for the power of the spirit. Yeah, because spiritualism is like so fascinating and hippie-ish and stuff. I mean, Nightwolf does kind of look like a hippie to me. Or maybe that's just the way Native Americans dress. I wouldn't really know. Can't say I ever saw a real live Native American. You know, unlike uh, like not like the ones in the Western shows and stuff. You know, the ones that wear feathery wigs and make smoke signals and stuff. I'm pretty sure they don't do that kind of stuff in real life anymore these days. Nowadays, all Native Americans own casinos. That's common knowledge. At least that's what, uh... I think I saw that on some TV show as well. Yeah, TV only gives you bad ideas about stuff. And... There we go, round one is ours. But yeah, we fight Sector again. I mean, we fought him in the previous chapter, and I think... Uh, we... Oh, crap. Ouch. 
Well, say goodbye to my teeth. And my spine. Was that like a shotgun glove? Nice. Sector is pretty badass as well. One of my favorite characters in this game to play as. Come on, get him, get him. I'm behind. It's only because he did his freaking x-ray on me. Nope, oh, nice. Punched him out of his uppercut. Or a teleport. Yeah. Missiles will not... Ah, crap, he dodged it. Holy hell, he has a flamethrower. Well, no biggie there. I'll just shrug off the burns and be on my merry way. Oh, crap. No, stay away, stay away. Out, no, no. Damn it. Looks like we'll have to go into round three with this one as well. I don't know why. That's like a recurring theme whenever I play as Nightwolf. First Quan Chi, now Sector. At least I didn't fail as epically against Cyrax. Ouch. Damn it, he's whooping my ass again. Just stay back and let me projectile spam you. See, the lightning is unblockable. He was totally blocking when I did it and just struck him anyway. That. No. Bad robot. Oh, again? Jeez. Eh. Well, at least I still have mine, and yay, it works. Why the hell do those robots have bones? It still boggles my mind. But yeah, we beat the Lin Kuei ninjas. Perhaps even you can be saved. What is it? If you dare, I will finish what the Ling Kuei could not. Let's do this. Attack! I am no longer your mother. Mother, this is not your way. Shao Kahn has corrupted you. Shao Kahn has resurrected me. You have betrayed him, embraced a pathetic cause. Remember Edenia, mother. Remember your rule before Shao Kahn's invasion. Quiet, child. It is time for you to join your friends. <laughs> Monster! Still alive? No matter. Soon you will reunite with your ancestors. Wow. What the hell? Sindel just really kill all of them? I mean, some of them I can understand. Like, Smoke get his freaking neck snapped. Uh, Jax got impaled in his neck by her... By her heel spike. High heels are lethal, guys. Beware. But, yeah. Uh, Cabal? Cyber Sub-Zero? 
How the hell did they get killed? She only like roundhouse kicked Cabal and stomped on his chest. How the hell is that fatal? In Cyber Sub Zero, he should be like the super durable robot assassin. How the hell did he get killed just by getting punched a few times? But yeah. Also, Jade's skin must be made of like tissues if Sindel can just like stick her hand in and rip out some organ. Like, what the hell are these humans made of? Just messed up. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I like walk up to this random guy on the street and like punch him in the gut, I'm pretty sure my hand won't go through his skin and allow me to like grab a kidney and rip it out. But that's what makes Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat, the over-the-top nonsensical violence. I mean, I recall in like Johnny Cage's fatality in the first Mortal Kombat, he like uppercutted his opponent's head off three times. Like he did three uppercuts and every time a head appeared on the floor. So, their opponents apparently had three heads. Yeah, that does not make sense at all. But Nightwolf apparently survived Sindel's onslaught, and we need to get rid of her fast. Crap, and I got my ass kicked again. I must really suck with Nightwolf. Hmm. Not that I really care, I mean, there's like almost 30 characters in this game. You don't have to be good with every last one of them. I mean, pretty sure no one is like... I mean, everyone is good with like a few characters. Like, maybe five at the most. Like, you can't put all your focus into too many characters, because then you'll just be, like, semi-good with a lot of them. But you can better be good with a lot of them. Or, with a few of them, I mean. But anyways, see you guys in the final part of Mortal Kombat. Now, Sindel, face the spirit's judgment. Tonkasilla, voice is Raiden. Raiden. Where are you? Elder gods, I beseech you. Earth realm is in danger. We are aware of your plight, Raiden. Then you must intervene on Earth realm's behalf. We cannot. But Shao Kahn, Liu Kang has bested him twice, yet he still- Shao Kahn has not violated the rules of Mortal Kombat. What? He invades Earthrealm as we speak! Invasion is not itself a transgression. It is the merger of realms that is proscribed. A distinction without a difference! Innocents are dying at the hands of Outworld! It is regrettable. But the Mortal Kombat tournaments are not intended to prevent certain outcomes. They are intended only to maintain balance among the realms. Please, you must... We have spoken. The last doors are closing. We are nearly trapped. is mine, shaman. Not if I take it from you. To Godzilla. <laughs> By the Elder Gods. Liu Kang, you were right. I wish we had met under different circumstances. Katana. dead. 
Liu Kang, I... We abandoned them. And they're dead. My heart, too, is heavy with their sacrifice. Their deaths achieve nothing! What is next, Raiden? Tell me the future! How do we honor their sacrifice? I climbed to heaven. Now I must plunge into the depths. I will go to Quan Chi, ally our realm with his against the forces of Outworld. What? Grovel before Quan Chi? What will he demand? What price will be paid? Would any price be too high to save Earthrealm? I had prayed it not true, but you have gone mad, Raiden. Your visions, they are nothing. Delusions of an addled mind. Liu Kang, please. Enough. I must help the wounded. Leave on your hopeless quest. May the Elder Gods protect you. <laughs>